Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagede Imo TV. I am Moriri Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the national news. Matawali apologizes for shutting down an Uma TV, Gamji TV, and Pride FM. Bandit attack hospital killed two at doc doctor, many others in Niger. Kidnappers kill victim. Money bearer for collecting nine million naira in Adamawa. Gunmen kidnap Catholic priest in Anambra. And on the final note, Ballon d'Or, or show around 16 best in the world. Now the news in detail. Governor Belo Matawali's government has apologized for shutting down Gamji TV, Gamji FM, and Uma TV, NTA, and Pride FM in Zamfara. It's coming, the government, in a statement by Information Commissioner Ibrahim Dosara, alleged that the media organization violated its executive number 10 order and abused journalism practice. APC Chieftain Abdullah Ishin Kafi and Chairman of the Zamfara State Committee on Prosecution of Banditry and Related Offenses, however, handed an apology to the media outfit in a press conference in Gosau on Monday. Mr. Shinkafi said the government was angered by the alleged violation of the order which came into effect on October 13th, banning all forms of political rallies and meetings in the state due to security concerns, including the suspension of all political activities and the shutdown of Anka, Bukuyum and Gumi local government areas, roads and other affected towns and villages. Mr. Shinkafi claimed that the media outlet violated the order by covering the illegal political activity of the PDP governorship candidate, Dauda Lawal Dari, in Gusau on Saturday. The commissioner added that the government's shutdown of the outlet attracted unprecedented reactions and criticism from various quarters, including the Nigeria Broadcasting Commission, NBC, Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria, BUN, and the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, the International Press Institute, IPI, among others, condemning the government's action and called for immediate reversal. The APC chieftain, however, insisted that Mr. Watawali's action was guided by the powers vested in him as enshrined in relevant sections of the Nigerian constitution. Moving to the next story. Armed gunmen have reportedly killed two persons at the Abdul Salam Abubakar General Hospital, Gulu Lape, in local government area of Niger State. They also kidnapped over 10 persons, including the hospital doctor, the pharmacist, and among others. Daily Post gathered that the incident occurred in the early hours of today, Tuesday, at about 2 a.m. One of those killed was said to be a retired medical personnel known as Yatachi, who lived directly opposite the hospital in the area. It was learned that a bandit in large numbers stormed the hospital, shooting periodically during the operation without any intervention from security personnel and the local vigilantes from the area. Zachary Nda, a resident of the area, told correspondents in a telephone chat that a gunman unleashed attacks on the hospital, resulting in the death of two persons. They arrived in large numbers and were shooting sporadically, which sent fears into the people during the period of their operation. At the end of the operation, many people were abducted and some wounded, he said. He also called on Niger state government and security personnel to rise up and do the needful in order to end the incessant attacks on communities. This is the fourth time kidnappers have attacked different communities within the area in recent times. Moving on to the next story. Kidnappers of a village in Adamawa has kidnapped a head state, have killed the village head and relative sent delivery ransom for his release. The kidnappers first abducted the village head of Bengo in the Furore local government area, Salah Umanu, and demanded money. Following which a relative, Jordan Bengo, a lecturer with the Federal College of Education, FCE Yola, took 2 million naira to them. The kidnappers, after collecting the 2 million naira, did not only keep the village head, but they also held back the lecturer and demanded for more. The early post gathered that the incident took place three weeks ago. A family member who spoke on the development on Monday said, Jordan Bengo took the 2 million naira to them sometime around September 25th, but they refused to release either him or our village head. The contacted us again demanding additional money and we struggled to raise 7 million naira and sent to them after several assurances that it would be released to us. Sadly, however, we found his composing remains on the foot of Bargele Hills Sunday evening. 
The village has body had earlier been found in similar circumstances. The police public relations officer for Adamawa State, SP Suleiman Ungoroje, has confirmed the story, saying officers of the State Police Command are on it. The State Police Command had last Friday announced the killing of five suspected kidnappers, but the command had said the suspects were terrorizing the Mobi Axis, namely Mobi North and Mobi South LGAs in the northern parts of the state. If you're just joining, you are watching the national news from BGI TV. More to come before the spot story. A priest with Catholic Archdiocese of Onicha, Reverend Father Joseph Iguago, has been kidnapped in Anambra State. Reverend Father Iguago, who is the parish priest in charge of St. Joseph's Parish, Abata and Suwe, Anambra East Local Government Area of the State, was said to have been abducted on Wednesday, October 12th, 2022, while returning to his house after celebrating a funeral vigil mass at Omonachi in Njikoka, council area of the state. A statement by the Catholic Archdiocese of Onicha titled, An urgent call for sincere prayer for kidnap of Reverend Father Joseph Igweagu, signed by the Archdiocese Chancellor of Catholic Archdiocese of Onicha. Father Fredentius Emerja Arrow, who announced the kidnap of the priest, however, was silent on whether his abductors have called to demand for money. The Catholic Archdiocese of the statement reads, It is with shock, but strong faith and love and protection of God that were announced to the priest, religious, lay faithful of the Archdiocese, and all men and women of goodwill, the abduction of our priest, Reverend Father Joseph Iguago, the priest and parish priest of St. Joseph Parish Abata in Suebo. While we're praying for the conversation of his abductors, we'll call on our Mother Mary to intercede on his behalf on, so that he will be quickly released on earth. And finally, on the national news is a sports story. Super Falcons forward Azizat Oshuala finished in 16th position in the 2022 Women's Ballon d'Or. The award ceremony took place in Paris, France on Monday night. Oshuala was the only African rated in the top 20. Our Barcelona teammate Alexia Putelis won the award. It was a back-to-back -back win for Putelis, the main star in Barcelona feminine team. Oshuala has won a record five-time CAF Player of the Year award. Senegal and Bayern Munich forward Sadi Mane scooped the inaugural Secret Humanitarian Award for his philanthropic work in his village. That rounds us off on the national news this hour. Before we go, some major headlines. Matawali apologizes for shutting down on Uma TV, Gamji TV, and Pride FM. We're also brought to you Bandit Attack Hospital, Kill 2, Abduct Doctor, many others in Niger. Still on insecurity, kidnappers kill victim, money bearer for collecting 9 million naira in Adamawa. And finally, on sports, Ballon d'Or, Oshola, ranked 16th best in the world. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Baba Bagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alabuye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For advert placement of your goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placement only. Thank you for watching. I am Mori Ray Prabila Lawal. Good afternoon.